Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. What I thought we'd do in this video is continue our discussion regarding how to steady. Basically, if you recall, we've put together a playlist talking about a few different things, uh, a few different tips, sharing with you guys a few different tips uh, that I have regarding steadying, regarding learning something new. And if you recall, what we've done is uh, basically in the first video, what we talked about is uh, we sort of have to ask ourselves why it is that we're trying to steady something, right? And we sort of, I did a sort of a little discussion on, you know, the perspective you can use on steadying that you can either decide to hate what you're doing or slowly try to realize that it is something that you need to do and sort of move towards loving what it is that you're doing and that helps you retain the information a lot better right and then after that what we did we put a second video talking about that it's usually a better idea to sit down and do long sessions long study sessions instead of a lot of short ones a lot of short ones are good for reviewing content refreshing yourself but if you're learning something new it's a better idea to do longer sessions right and from there we sort of went on into tip number three is basically talking about that it might be a good idea just to you know find your happy space right maybe sitting in behind the table uh in a you know in a chair upright studying what it is that you're studying or going out to the park going out to the beach going for a walk if you want to recite something memorize something so basically be comfortable where you are because if you're comfortable happy about where you are doing the work whatever it is that you're doing the the odds are you probably retain that information and learn it much faster right and what we did in the fourth video was basically in tip number four we talked about one of the best things you can do is set yourself up with the schedule and create a to-do list and you know start knocking things off right and if possible basically create a to-do list that has your needs and your wants and hopefully overlap those things and try to do a few things in one go right basically layering your work and what's going to happen slowly you end up finding out that you end up getting a lot done right and then for tip number five basically what we did was take a look at on how we can read a textbook right and that's one thing that i found out with a lot of my students is you know they're given textbooks in school but a lot of them don't really appreciate don't really know how to use the textbook right how to read a textbook right and then after that what we did was basically talk about um, when you're doing algebra specifically if you s get some kind of problem in algebra there's a certain method to solving certain types of problems right so we talked about that it's a pretty good idea to be able to recognize the type of problem you're getting and familiarize yourself with the pattern required to solve that problem right get a visual of how to go about solving that problem and i thought what we do in this video is continue on with that discussion specifically overlaying this overlapping this with the fifth video we put out regarding on how to read a textbook because when you're doing what you're doing when you're reading a textbook is you're usually trying to take notes and we talked about that a little bit in that video where you can take notes either on the side or in the textbook itself highlighting things right but one of the things you can do is take a take notes in a notebook right so i thought what we do is take a look at some of the notebooks i've used over the years and i brought out basically uh six notebooks here okay just to show you guys but what we're going to do is we're going to flip through these two time allowing right but i have different types of notebooks that i use in different places sometimes i'm you know i want to be mobile so i don't carry the bigger larger textbooks sometimes i carry smaller textbooks with me sometimes i carry pieces of paper you know take a piece of paper and throw it in your pocket with a pen if you're you know you want to be mobile right so there's a lot of different ways that you can take notes taking notes is very personal and if you go online you'll find out that you know there's a whole bunch of different um you know different things that people recommend on what the best practice is to take notes okay 
some people they sit there i mean this is one of the pieces of paper that i have and that's sort of mobile for me to travel with right so if, and i usually like using 11 by 17 paper right large seat sheets of paper because i can fold them like this and if you're walking if you don't have a table if you you know can't lean on something to write something these work out fine because they're thick enough that you can write on put pressure on right so you can sit there and go chicho you can write on it right and one thing you'll do is um if you notice if you do a little bit of searching on what the best practices on how to take it you know how to take notes you'll find out that different people recommend different things right some people say you know take notes in bullet form basically like this i'm not sure if this is coming out nicely or not let's see if we have a dark thicker pen here da, 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 da. no we do right here check this out nice so some people say basically you know to take point form like this and you know make titles make sections uh, you know divide these things out like this and you'll see some of the stuff in the notes that i'm going to show you some people say basically if you're doing comparison you know create tables and write down notes if you're comparing things and use sort of bullet format when you're doing this as well right so you can break down your page in this format some people say there's some kind of standards that i did a search for when i was looking to see you know what else i could share with you guys some people say you know create you know this format which i've never used myself where you put uh basically a label here where you put basically a topic here whatever little specific notes that you have here when you're reviewing books and whatnot you can take your notes here and then over here you can post questions or you can talk about key issues right and then what you can do is summarize your information here right sometimes you end up taking notes where you have something centralized and you're feeding information into that or feeding out of that right if you're trying to understand a certain type of concept and we've done a little bit of this in some of the math videos we've talked about and you know you can put point form into these things so it's taking notes is extremely personal i have to think about this a lot when you know i was trying to share this information on how to take what some of the best note taking practices are and you can you know you can do a little search online and figure out for yourself what works best for you are you visual do you like flow charts do you like the table format like this which you can write a lot of notes here sort of in point form and then associate that with questions you might have or key points you might have do you like summaries at the end of the page do you like everything to be organized and tables and point forms and stuff like this right so taking notes is extremely personal and the best way to learn how to take notes is to start practicing start trying things out if you haven't done so before okay so i thought what we'd do instead of talking about all these different versions of taking notes that you can use i thought what we'd do is basically show you some of the notes that i've taken uh, over the years right and right now i have you know six books booklets here that we have i'm going to flip through two and i'm going to show you a couple of things in these guys as well and one thing in this because this bottom one i just started right and just so you know this is just six of the notebooks i have there's three of them that are still open three of these are full up right but i need some information that i've put in here for some of the videos some of the contacts we're creating right and i do have additional videos i have a couple of dozen of the additional textbooks so i have a couple of dozen of these notebooks that i have that i've used over the years to create content to learn stuff or whatnot right and it's up to you how many textbooks you're comfortable as having floats for me i have this one is an open textbook right it's not full up yet these guys are full up like if i flip through this all of this has been used all the pages okay this one is full up as well okay oh no it's not full up this one's got some space on it nice we found some extra space we can use as well right but a fair chunk of this more than half or about half is full up right and i'll show you this when we go through these what uh, these guys but basically i use a whole bunch of different 
techniques of note taking but my stuff is a little bit chaotic and whenever i get something done when i'm creating content i put you know i go through my notes and i put check marks through these things that things that i've gotten done for example if you take a look at this this is a notebook that i had i don't know when but this is basically one of the things we created um, how to study where longer is better right so this is related to one of the videos we put up for the set and i have one here as well that i used that I was flipping through this that was related to how to study as well which is you know how to study there's more you know highlights that i do here um, is it in this zero infinity uh, this is something a work in progress basically this is this is a playlist that we're going to keep going for a long time and if you recall here's here's some discussion we had about infinity some math videos that we put together okay so this one is my sort of most recent traveling one right and again this is sort of related to how to study type of material a little bit chaotic right but some of this stuff we've already produced right i have a couple of ticks here that we've already gone through things okay. a couple of check marks and we'll see more when we do these guys okay. but take a look at this let me show you this one first or actually before we go through this one let me show you these ones just the pieces of paper that i use when i'm traveling okay For example, you know, this is one sheet that I had that I just used for some of the more recent stuff. When I'm creating, when I'm taking notes on these types of paper, they're usually related to projects that I'm working on, that I'm trying to get finished, that are, uh, that this one we'll talk about later. This is, uh, this is a workshop that I took a couple of weekends ago that I took some notes on okay but here's one where it's 11 by 17 paper and what i can do is you know if i'm just trying to brainstorm i can start it off in one location and if the thought is continuing i can open this up and then connect up to other areas okay and this is usually i use this type of format usually when i'm just in the process of getting a video out or writing an article or working on a project right here's another one this is related to the cryptocurrency video that we're going to do on saturday so i'm sort of brainstorming this is um uh, this is some of the stuff we did in mathematics where i was taking notes doing preparation for uh the open discussion we had some math and I was just brainstorming making sure the information the flow was in my mind and you know going for walks or something what i would do is just take a piece of paper you know take the paper put a pen like this just lock it up throw it in my back pocket and go for a little walk and give myself a little peace and quiet and brainstorm and then we ended up doing it so i take these things off right that means it's done so i can discard this okay as for formal type of laying things out Here's one that we did, certain notes that I took. Okay. This is uh, sort of a workshop that I was doing uh, regarding comic books at a sort of a local independent school that uh, asked me to do a little workshop regarding comic books. And I sort of linked it up with some more recent events, right? So I took some notes for myself and I took this book to that workshop. And this is a thicker book. And I usually only use this notebook at home. It doesn't leave my house and I, or this style of notebook because this is something I just recently grabbed. I have additional versions of these that I've completed over the years, right? So this is brand new. And I cracked this open specifically for the workshop. And I had little, you know, headings here that I was, had point form, for example, you know, if you know about comic books and I, we put out a video sort of a live stream doing a little open discussion about this workshop and we sort of brainstormed together right there's a lot of information that people uh, during the chat on twitch 
they recommend that I do so for example uh, one of the topics that we did in that workshop was basically tourist versus purist right in terms of people who are comic book aficionados they know the history of the characters versus people who are you know more in this thing through a realm of movies and stuff like this and we had you know youtube suggestions here talking about frank miller watchman history of violence legion or whatnot and then we had comic book code authority with censorship notes and i left space here just in case i was going to take notes during the workshop that you know the discussion see where it went right and then we talked about you know had a little section on rice with jack kirby alan moore and and whatever it is right and then we had her heroes versus villains diamond distributors and stuff like this so this was a sort of a more formal version of me taking notes and i have the rest of this book to work on it's empty right so that's one version of a textbook i have in addition to you know my little traveling notepads that i use right so i thought what we'll do uh, because one of these books is almost complete this is almost complete and this one is complete basically i believe right so what i do whenever i complete a notebook okay may it be for learning studying may it be for brainstorming right for ideas to create content on right so let's go through this and i'll show you a couple of different things that i do in these notebooks okay here's you know and i start from either side if you notice my notebooks the ones that are free sometimes i start the notebooks from this way and i go this way sometimes i start the notebooks this way and i go this way okay for this one what i want to show you is the formal type of note taking i i do when it comes to reviewing or learning material from a textbook okay and these notes are notes that i took let me show you this for those of you who who know physics who know mathematics uh this is physics you'll notice some of these formulas okay let me put on my glasses here actually because i just want to make sure i'm pointing to the right things coming up right now i took these notes just to give you a history of why these notes are here right basically my background is physics and mathematics and i've worked with students teaching them mathematics mainly but i've taught some students physics as well and some chemistry and a few years ago i had a physics student and basically what's happened over the years is the amount of physics chemistry tutoring that i do is completely gone i don't touch chemistry anymore i forgot a lot of material that i did and the physics tutoring has reduced a lot as well basically i've been focusing on mathematics but what i was doing at a time a few years ago was tutoring i had a, a couple of sisters in the same family that I was tutoring and one of them i was working with mathematics i see both of them i was working with mathematics one was a grade 11 and one was grade 12. and the grade 12 student or the grade maybe she was in grade 11 i can't remember which one it was but one of them that was taking physics i believe it was grade 11 student that I was working with um, she took physics 11 as well physics 11 is a hard course in my area because it comes at you at a mile a minute and a whole bunch of different topics uh, they cover different sections of physics they cover and ex expect people to remember formulas and remember concepts and stuff like this so she asked me if I could help her out and since I hadn't taught physics for a while what I had to do was review a lot of stuff so I took my physics book out and I took some notes on physics and I watched some videos and I took some notes on videos right and this is the note that I put together from that information I was reviewing and this was basically a day or a couple of days of note taking right and we went over this with my student and the problem she was having is she what she didn't know how to take notes and just sitting down with her for an hour and going through this with her she didn't need any more help in physics right she figured out how to study physics and that's why note-taking is extremely personal because note-taking varies depending on the type of course you're taking right if you're taking notes for physics that note form taking is different than the type of note-taking you might be taking for history 
or geography, right? Or pure mathematics, right? Or chemistry, or whatever it might be, or finance or business, right? This is the type of notes that I take for physics, right? So I basically do, you know, ha uh, titles and I write, write down variables, what the variables are. This is extremely important. I use a lot of diagrams trying to explain things, write down laws, write down the formulas. And this was sort of me not learning the stuff from the beginning. It was me reviewing this content, relearning the stuff, right? And basically, this is the type of notes that I take, right? I use a lot of drawings, okay? I use diagrams, I use arrows, I break things up. If you take a look at this, I break things up into sections, right? If you know physics, three levels of forces holding our world together, right? Nuclear force, electrical force, and gravitational force, and nuclear force is very small. So me just writing down 10 to the negative two, because this is mathematics to me, right? This tells me this is on the sc micro scale, right? Small scale, electrical force, atomic scale, right? Thousands of kilometers, gravitational forces and stuff like this. We have, uh, you know, different electromagnetic forces acting together. And then this was me, you know, lecture one was the above, lecture two is the bottom one. So I'm using titles boxing in highlighting formulas using drawings arrows to explain things to me definitely taking force diagrams for physics laying this out for myself so I'm comfortable with it right and this was basically me learning the stuff laying the stuff down going over it with my students trying to explain to her what is the most important thing i was taking out of the lectures or the videos okay so that's one form of note taking and i have another one here as well let me see if i can find it oh here we go is that the one and here's another format as well right taking notes from another book right and this was me doing my own review right for mathematics and i'm looking into kinematics right and I'm doing my review because I'm getting ready to do the videos that I've promised to do regarding cliff jumping. If you've been following my work there, right? We put out a little intro video regarding cliff jumping and some of the things sort of you have to concern yourself with. Be careful what sort of a disclaimer on cliff jumping. And again, since this is formalized, I'm highlighting the equations and the functions and writing down little notes for myself right talking about particle points free fall constant downward forces gravity and you know acceleration stuff like this because that's what we're going to expand on right so these are the two little pages that i have that i've taken formal notes on right and i do little notes for myself little points for myself saying use these pages for how to study video which is what we're doing right now right and i do have different color pens that i end up using right i usually almost always until i'm unless i'm really in mobile mode i usually always at least have two different color pens because sometimes i end up highlighting things right and if i don't have two different color pens what I end up doing when I'm reviewing my notes, I go through with different color pens and highlight things in different color. That way they stand out and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. So those are two, you know, two places where I've taken formal notes the way I do. And one of the other things that I use for, you know, with my notebooks is I create to do things, to do lists for myself if I'm trying to get things done. And I cross them out right and this is one of my to-do lists that I use to um, transfer cable uh, this is regarding creating content um, for the videos right telling myself to remember to take the mic remember to take the transfer cable power cables and whatnot here's another table I've created for a festival I was going right take 
what you need to take cross that stuff out uh, and here's just some random notes I was taking for myself just before we did a video with uh, and this is a while ago with Dirk when we put the video together for uh, the golden ratio uh, and the golden triangle and how he ends up using the golden triangle in his uh, videos um, to create his art to uh, for his art to create his paintings and whatnot and how I look at the golden triangle and whatnot right so there's a lot of different things you can use your notebooks for different different ways you can take notes and since I'm more in the mindset of creating content than learning new content most of the stuff that I have in these in these two notebooks is me brainstorming organizing and putting uh, you know my thoughts together to create either videos or articles and whatnot right so I'm not sure if we're gonna start from the beginning from one one side to go to the other we did for that one and this video is open and this is here let me take you to where I am right now in this just to show you um, and this is you know we have not many pages left open for this right and we have just basically this many pages open for this and what I'm doing right now I'm going through this notebook and this notebook because this is where I've got content regarding cryptocurrencies most of the content regarding cryptocurrencies I do have some content regarding cryptocurrencies in these three books as well and these two of these books anyway so I've gone through those and I'm going through these guys and I'm compiling the information here brainstorming for myself creating a visual for myself for the video that we're going to do on Saturday right and this is a working visual that we're going to link everything up to right talking about how cryptocurrencies might play out possibly a draft version right and i'm going to spend the next couple of days after this video and tomorrow sort of going through more of the notes and organizing and the final version might be different than this but this is you know one of the links for me to create content in a couple of days and it might morph right so, so sort of using my notebook in a formal sense highlighting points that i'd like to talk about and creating a visual for myself okay and if we flip back from this let's just flip backwards from this right this is something we've already done okay that i got a tick on right this is something that i'm working on this is something that we've done put out a video on and i do sort of number my books book 5000 so i know which book 5000 is when i say this is a video that we put out regarding on how to eat if you have a beer right so i create a little visual a couple note points we want to make this is a little bit of mathematics but i want to take you to some of the places where it's a lot more chaotic where you see multiple iterations of me going through the same material and the final product of the video right and again tick mark tick mark done done possibly done right sometimes it's chaotic sometimes i'm taking these notes at home sometimes it's in front of the computer sometimes it's sitting on a table right sometimes it's at the beach sometimes i have the stuff going for a walk sometimes i go to the park okay and again a lot of material related on how to study these two books have and the other books as well This is a video that we put together on how you could look at time, right? We put, put a ASMR math video together on how you can use mathematics to look at time, to look at life, right? And for, you know, there's more of this in here as well, but I ticked this off because it was, I was cycling through the information and condensing it into more point form right I would do you know sometimes I do a page dump or a purge onto a page like this and I go through this this is just one iteration because there's only one color pen here 
and it doesn't look like I've gone through this a second time right for this one it was basically me putting it into point form some additional information that I have here that I laid out and making sure I was ready to do the video right and once I do it I take it off this is done so I don't have to look at that again when I'm going through my notes right here's another one how to study find your happy place happy spaces plural and we've already done this right this is something a video that we already put out this is something on how to study that we really haven't put out but I've mentioned this right but I will make this more formal which is basically learning from your mistakes I'm gonna put a little bit of ratios on this okay I know that because I already have that information iterated a couple of more times in other notebooks okay this is something we've already done this is the infinity stuff we talked about okay talking about infinity talking about Planck's constant when you travel halfway every time and there's a more detailed version of this in another textbook but since I hadn't created that video when I hit here now that the video is out if I go through an iteration if I already done I already take it off that I know of right this is something we will be talking about we've talked about a little bit okay here's where you see me going through more iterations okay you see multiple color pens you see highlights in different forms you see multiple do's but no text you know ticks coming on right so this is a video that's going to complement the infinity video that we've put out that we put out up here with a tick but i'm going to be putting out a couple of videos talking about zero and the meaning of zero for me the same way i did with the meaning of infinity right and for those of you interested there's two different ways that I look at zero. One of them is having nothing of a unit, right? Having no money, no friends, no nothing of a unit, whatever it might be. And the second version of that you can think about zero is the absence of anything, which is a completely trippy concept if you want to think about it, right? Try to think about nothing, right? Absence of anything. And that kicks off into a whole rabbit hole by itself right this is something that i've laid out for uh, that we're going to do when it comes to mathematics and number lines right this is this is a conversation that i had with um, the idea came to me with uh, when talking about uh, when talking to someone that was teaching at university their professor at university and they were talking about history and they mentioned that um, a lot of their students have a hard time and it blew me away when she told me this a lot of stu a lot of her students had a hard time appreciating the difference between bc and ad they didn't appreciate the zero marker between bc and what ad meant right which is basically christian christian version of a timeline of how things progressed over the years right so at some point we're going to do this for mathematics but i noted this down jotted this down and again this is an iteration of another note that i took somewhere else right but basically talking about a number line setting christianity bcad but muslims have the same thing happening so do hindus so do so does the jewish religion right so the star trek right so you can kick this off in a lot of, a lot of places and this is sort of an asmr math video i plan on doing or the language of mathematics video i plan on doing to get the point of crop point across of what a number line is right this one is one iteration and we will definitely be doing and it's related to how to study okay uh, these guys related to mathematics this is a little note I made to myself to send a message to fuck, fuck fucker and these are friends of mine that are DJs uh, that you know produce fantastic music I've seen some of their live shows and they're very good I've gone to a few of their shows they're fantastic and we do talk to each other I should send them a message actually I haven't talked to them for a while little beard video here's uh, another how to study video that we're going to we're going to create 
and I said this is how to study number three but it's not this is going to be how to study number after number seven because this video that we're making right now is how to study number seven which is how to take notes right but this is going to come in a future date and it's basically talking about if you're going to be doing apprenticeship and how the concept of apprenticeship works right if you're learning something new and this is the visual that i'm going to be talking about sort of jumping from one location to another right and this is basically almost complete i could probably pop this out uh, after a couple of more run-throughs and taking notes and highlighting things right and here's some additional stuff that i have regarding advice that i've written down right and again my note taking is very messy in large part okay but sometimes i'm doing this in a windy day right sometimes i'm doing this when i'm walking in a park walking in the trails and sitting down in a little corner and trying to find the because these aren't they're flimsy things notebooks so i'm trying to make things hard you know find a hard surface to write on right here's some stuff i got regarding nuja bass that i plan on taking let's flip through this i'm gonna and this is something and this one we've talked about um, this is related to economics talking about disruptive innovation mergers and acquisitions talking about differential differential accumulation right capital is power and we've already created this and i got a little tick mark i should highlight this a little bit better actually that way i don't go through continuously read it right and here's uh here's some additional stuff that we've done tick marks already done already done right looks like random and it is random but there is a train of thought usually when it's one pen going through and writing things out okay some layouts some website layouts that i've done all right and again this is a little bit more notes about the same thing the disruptive innovation right sometimes i have to remind myself what it is that i want to do and i've already got a tick mark but i'm going to do it again in red so it stands out so i don't re continue rereading this stuff right and when it, most of my books are tick mark up to 80 percent i retire them right because for me as long as i can get 80 percent of what i want to get out out when it comes to shooting a video writing an article uh organizing doing whatever it is that i'm doing i'm happy with that right i'm happy with that okay here's some additional posts some stuff that we've already done right already done this is something we did when it came to um breaking a line into pieces right and this is related to right this stuff here how to break a line into pieces talking about a number line and a number line directly kicks off into Cartesian coordinate system your x and y axes and 3d as well z axes right so there is multiple iterations of things going through and I put tick marks of the versions that I have done and where it might lead up to that way we can build up playlists series of stuff right And just some additional stuff backgammon we just recently put out a couple of live streams of me and my grandma playing backgammon right and we put out a backgammon video multiple backgammon videos talking about probability soka to all forever trigonometry right. and additional stuff stuff that we've got done some chaotic some not right and this book is almost and here again how to, how to deal with fractions how to break a line into pieces iteration done but at some point we will definitely link this up to again this what bc and ad mean right what time frames mean and put the different places where different cultures start their timeline the way they're measuring dates and take a look at 
where they all fit together, right? Sort of give a historical point of view to things. I think it would be brilliant to do and it would really help some people out there having a hard time trying to understand, appreciate how AD and BC work, right? So that's still a working book that I have that I carry with me because there's still a few pages left, right? Here's one that's been completed. And usually I put my name and an email address in the book, okay? Because just in case I lose this, this is a lot of material that would be lost. So if you treasure your workbooks, your notebooks, keep them, right? Make sure if you lose them, someone knows how to get a hold of you if they plan on getting a hold of you, right? And if you want to know how old these notebooks are, all you have to do is take a look at when we loaded up some of these videos that we've already done, right? This one is an ASMR math video talking about GCF, right? What GCF meant, and we put out a video on this. And it was a very good video. This is, it came out very well. I think I was able to get it done in one shoot, okay? And it's out there. You can see, you know, what the notes look like and what the end product was, right? ASMR sleep, ratios. This is something that I've done that I want to expand on a little bit more. Okay. A lot of stuff done on this, in this book. This book is almost ready to be retired. Almost ready. Okay. Here's some stuff regarding my Patreon page that I laid out. Okay. That I've already implemented and it's some of the stuff that we're going to do. And thank you for all of you people that are seriously supporting me through Patreon. That has been one revenue stream that I have that I can rely on, that I can transition into a more full-time mode, right? So it is something that I work on continuously and take notes on and is in transition. And we will do a lot more stuff there as well, right? Here is what we talked about again, the video of looking at how old someone else how you can how the perception of time varies with age right we had some of the notes in the other book and this is where i started laying it out more precisely of how i want to approach that video and this was basically the last place that i sort of did an iteration of things this book before we put out that video okay and this was me going off multiple rabbit holes that I might expand on when we start talking about time, okay? Because I do plan on doing a little bit more when it comes to um, time and how the perception of time varies with age and varies with our experiences and, and our mindset and depending on the state of mind that we're in, extremely important, um, important concept, okay? This is something we've laid out uh, when it comes to comic books and we sort of touched on this uh, for the comic book haul videos we put a table together but we will be expanding on this a lot more that's why there's no there's one tick mark here but i took that off because i'm going to be expanding on it more so i'm going to go through multiple iterations of this okay here's something that i plan on doing when it comes to asmr math when it comes to looking at the chart where we talked about mergers and acquisition, acquisitions and growth and economics specifically, right? But an example we could use, take a look at and see if we can dig up some charts when it comes to oil extraction, renewable energies, when it comes to wood versus coal, when it comes to coal versus oil. And take out some of those concepts, some of those data that we have and see what they tell us regarding our society, looking at it through the lens of mathematics, right? Here's just some point forms where people have asked me, what are some hip hop artists I've looped the most, right? Here's powerful movies that I remember, right? Should we look, should we read these? Sure, let's read these. Here's some powerful movies that I remember that just jotting them down, Speedy Gonzalez style, right? Blade Runner, American History X, there will be blood to kill a mockingbird existence anything charlie chaplin the matrix moulin rouge 
The next two are from videos for war movies, uh, Paths of Glory. We've put, I put out a video regarding uh, movies, Paths of Glory, Come and See, Scarface, right? Uh, here's some hip hop artists that I've listened to the most. Uh, Dead Press, Tupac, Big Pun, Big Al, Biggie, South Park Mexican, Immortal Technique, Jedi Mind Tricks, Wu-Tang, Public Enemy, Nuja Bass, Damien Marley, he put out two albums that were fantastic, right? Here's some stuff regarding how to study. We'll approach it at some point, right? Have to go iterations, all right? Here's some stuff on how to study. This is something we're gonna put out. I was actually gonna put out this video as being number seven, uh, tip number seven, but we're making this video tip number seven of taking notes, right? Because it's sort of related to how to read a textbook, right? But according to the time when I was writing this, because it's been, I guess, a couple of years since we put out any videos for that, for that playlist, it was uh, review your notes, and I've laid out some stuff that we're going to review. But reviewing your notes is definitely a how to study tip, and at some point we'll definitely put out a video on how to study on how to review your notes. Right? Here is um, some stuff we put together, and this is more recent. Okay. I just recently finished this book in the last six months or so this notebook of mine but this is some stuff we put together regarding personal finance and economics and we were able to from this point on just to give you an idea of what final pages look like in my notebooks when I put out a set of videos from here to a few pages if the notes that I took that I prepared myself for to put out I believe you know four or five hours of videos talking about differential accumulation capitalist power mergers and acquisitions talking about uh cryptocurrencies investing personal finance automation there's a whole bunch of material we went through right and this is the final time me looking at it having this in front of me when i'm shooting that video okay so this again this is very personal and this is the way I produce content It is very chaotic but there are things here that I've looked at so many times that they pop out to me okay so this is what it looks like okay I just made this note down just for automation just so you know where this video came out and this is sort of the drawing that we had the visual going through it me doing multiple ticks saying yes I covered that yes I covered that yes I covered that okay we did one video like this right regarding the time frame okay there's a little bit of tick marks here grease that I'm gonna connect up to grease I did mention it I should possibly put a tick mark here but I won't because I have taken some notes somewhere else that I want to link up to grease specifically in regards to currencies we might tackle some of this information in the saturday video maybe right because i'm still reviewing some stuff here's some stuff regarding fintech financial technology right that i wrote down regarding automation me circling things highlighting things making sure they pop out to me when i'm doing the video or when i'm reviewing right what i take out of this okay here's the visual that we used in the video of automation which is the quick version of the smaller version here right i made a bigger version because that's the way it's unfolding for me and then creating a table format for myself right that sort of table format of one merging onto the other okay and again little note for myself saying automation done just because when i was going through this this is what i wanted to show you what i needed to do to be able to create that video regarding automation okay the final version and this as well personal finance right this is definitely something we will be doing i don't have a tech tick mark on this right and we're going to link it up to mystic number six to the comic book haul we did when i showed you i bought you mystic number six graded for a ridiculously cheap price and it will definitely link up to 
currencies and whatnot. Okay. Here's another math scale system. Okay. Number line that we will be doing. Here's another number line that we were doing. And since we're here, I'm not 100% sure we're going to put this out. Okay. And this is again related to this thing. But since we're doing this, going through my notes, right? And making it personal. As I mentioned, I will be making a video regarding a number line of how you can look at the world through the lens of mathematics and how a number line can change your perspective on life, on a system that you're looking at, or a concept that you're looking at, or your work, or your or your or your anything, right? On the extreme front, okay, this is an extremely touchy subject, but this is another place that you can use a number line to get a point across, which is where, right, you would consider life to begin. Is it, and it's something we, I sort of dropped a hint at in the video that we put together when it comes to how the perception of time varies with age. I sort of hinted towards it, right? But I'm thinking about putting out a full out video on this in ASMR math format, tackling the issue of abortion, the right to life, the right to choice, and when legality wise laws are being applied, right? Here's the end here right the one end of this on your number line which could be your zero starting point which could be intercourse or for some it might be first meeting right and all the way to birth of a child right recently in one of the states and this this just came out a, a week ago and i knew where this note was when i was going through this so i made another note in a different color pen for myself just last week, I believe, or a few days ago, one of the states in the United States changed their laws and stated that life, the point of a child being recognized in the womb as having life is when the first heartbeat can be detected, right? And there's a discussion right now in that state between those who want to change the number line move the scale either towards this way or that way right and again i'm not 100 sure if i'm ever going to do this but that is one way you could look at it as well where the where the mathematical perspective to laws to our society to life can be brought into full view right on a simple number line right here is the notes we took and again this was in personal finance economics and this was basically a couple of pages i think i got four or six pages of notes that i had on this because i was juggling a lot of data i was looking at when it came to investing what was a good investment investment and putting at putting that on a on a timeline on a logarithmic scale and taking a look at what your rate of return would have been if you invested in different types of funds and different types of places right and i've gone through this multiple of their iterations where i've highlighted stuff used different color pens check mark stuff and here's more of the things little point forms that i wanted to talk about taking data right preliminary data and looking at the different growth rates and trying to make sense of it all for myself right and how to best present the information graphically right here's a lot of notes and if you want to know where all this was used this is in the videos we put it together regarding personal finance and economics right a lot of data was put in that video a lot of information i looked at was put into the video right we talked about currencies or different places you could have invested your money in right 
There's one story I read with by Asimov, and I believe it was called Happenings, where the credit, the currency, was no longer something tangible. It was a person's point of view, right? And here's the final table that we ended up putting together. There was a lot of data that I left in my notebook that we put didn't put right in that video but again as far as i'm concerned if i was able to cover 80 percent of this content i was happy and i was very happy with that video right so this is sort of how i end up creating content i brainstorm for myself here's a little discussion of cryptocurrencies we're going to have right highlight it do the relevant information marked off right so i can take a look at it uh, and appreciate what it is and introduce it as quickly as possible in the videos without pausing too often right video for a recap personal finance so we've already done this one i should put a tick mark on this right and in the next couple of days i'm going to go through this information this book right and this is do this very soon this is something uh, how to take notes this is the one right so how to study how to take notes and this is the video that we're doing right do this soon very soon next week blah 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 right highlighting it for myself right making sure we get this video done and when going through these notes for the cryptocurrencies this is what popped out for me and this is the reason why we're doing this video right so i can put a tick mark on this because we're doing this video right now and every time i put a tick mark in my notebook of things i wanted to get done it makes me feel that much better right makes the world uh, that much sweeter right and this is what we looked at already the notes i'm taking for uh, putting together a cliff jumping video and i leave little spaces right more notes on cliff jumping video newton's laws of motion but i had space here so i filled this up with information coming in this direction right this goes to here this goes to here and this goes to here right the thoughts being connected with arrows right so don't worry about mucking things up as long as you know where things are right if you need a certain type of thought to go in a certain direction because you have information there make sure it goes in that direction right. don't worry about being too organized with your notes if this is what you're comfortable with here's the video we put out regarding the alternate rules to monopoly and for those of you who like games who like that video who like playing monopoly with our my main with my uh, gaming group we've been playing a lot of videos a lot of videos we've been playing a lot of monopoly games it's basically become our main game that we've been playing in the last three or four months and what we've come up with is an alternate system of playing so right now we're switching between the the game style that we played in the video that we put out of how to play monopoly and i'm going to put out a video of showing the alternate rules that we've introduced so we're doing sort of tag team and playing a one playing in this version once and then playing in this version uh, the second time we're playing two of these guys and one of these guys and this version is brilliant it's absolutely fantastic it gives it another uh, another take on monopoly which is for those of you that love poker it's fantastic it's a great game right and here's some info regarding cryptocurrencies and what i do with these things i use you know stickies and this is i write down crypto here so in the next couple of days when i go through this book i'm going to take all this crypto information and you know crypto crypto and compile it all into one location right and make sure we have the right visual when we're talking about this or a nice visual uh, the way I perceive things to be uh, or the way I want to portray that information in the video on Saturday and hopefully it'll work out right and this is again one iteration 
of the crypto visual that I have that I want to share that we already talked about a little bit in a previous crypto video that we put out right because we do have a cryptocurrency playlist as well and we're building content there as well there's four videos I believe we put out and we're going to be putting out a lot more right some advice because people have been asking me to give some advice regarding different things more crypto discussion more advice more advice more advice more advice never underestimate how things can escalate right more advice more advice some stuff we've already done and more crypto talk right and this is an open book still where is it is this one? Oh no this is the dead one this is the one that we're working on right and this is where we are and again this visual is very much like the previous visual that we saw here right because I've taken some of that information incorporating it into another design that we're going to do for another live stream the cryptocurrency live stream right so that's about it gang this is sort of the way I end up taking notes I end up learning there's less learning for me to do right now because I've gone through many 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 moons of learning and I will continue to do that as well right now I'm just in a production mode so most of the notes that I have right now are more geared towards producing content instead of learning new material even though I am going through and taking notes and learning and compiling data right but at some future date I will go through a learning spurt again and I will take on a couple of textbooks and maybe take on some online lectures or maybe even take a course and start taking more formal notes where I want to learn some new material right and always always do not forget do not forget if you're going to be mobile if you want to be mobile and taking notes a piece of paper with a pen and I do have small pens that I use as well right that don't stick out of my back pocket piece of paper with a pen is a fine way of taking notes if you need to brainstorm and you need to go for a walk or whatnot okay I hope this helps you out I hope this gives you an idea of uh, you know some of the note-taking techniques that you can use and don't be afraid of using highlighters different colored pens don't be afraid of mocking up the textbook if you want to if you need to okay that's about it for now and I'll see you guys in the next video.